Again, I just ask you a simple question. You must know, you knew immediately you'd fired the bullets that killed the hostages. You must equally Correct. have known immediately whether your snipers have shot these two women outside a Catholic church. You literally just have to ask the question. So this was but, this but happened I... this happened over the weekend. <laughs> you must have had enough time but... now to establish was it Israeli snipers? Because earlier today you were denying it, denying the suggestion it, it may have been IDF, but the Archbishop says that's a lie. So what so, is the so situation we, in... with the with these killings? So, so let me please answer by saying what needs to be said. It's not like someone is ready to hang around with a gun and, and indiscriminately shooting. We're talking about combat zones where, where and often... And that wasn't my question, you know, you're My coming, question was whether you're coming IDF, under fire. Did, did IDF soldiers shoot those two women? You know the answer. It's, it's still be looking into, and I'm sure that we'll be putting out a, a report. I can't prejudge the IDF's report, Beers. You understand no, that. You've already prejudged the... I can the, say the already, Hang on. You've already prejudged the killing of the hostages and said you know for a fact you did that. Why do you not know for a fact you killed these two women or not? Because we had the bodies here of the three, uh, and there was immediately shown to be... Tra I'm not sure we've got the bodies of the two women. I don't know where they are. Uh, I, I don't know what the situation is. We will get to the bottom of it. Just but if it wasn't IDF, longer. who, 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 please, were, who were these snipers who no, killed well, two I'll, women I'll outside a Catholic uh, church in Gaza? Well, we'd, because we know there was fire there. This, you see, the way it's being presented incorrectly is that somehow there was people at a church going to pray or praying and, and suddenly the IDF came and attacked. No, that wasn't the situation, Pierce. We know there were firefights in that area. We know our forces took hostile fire. So it's quite possible that it was Israeli forces, but it's also possible that it was bullets from the other side. Yeah, but I think but you're stretching my... I'm sorry, zone. but you are stretching my credulity to try and make me think you don't know the answer after all this time, given how clear you've been about the other incident and IDF culpability. So I'm sure a full IDF report will come out shortly, and I urge you, please, be patient. It's, it's worthwhile waiting for the full report. And if it transpires, as everybody believes, and as the Archbishop of Westminster said, it come directly from information on the ground that he believed was credible, uh, relayed to him by the Archbishop of Jerusalem, and what the Pope himself has called an act of terrorism, if that turns out to be indeed the work of the IDF again, what would your response be? So I can give you from the, uh, an example from the past, Pierce. Uh, where there was a situation on the beach in, Bar uh, in Gaza. This was in one of the pre previous rounds of, of conflict, and I remember it well because I was personally well, involved. I don't want to go into previous no. incidents. It doesn't no, because help. It doesn't I'm, giving you, I'm giving you precedent. Well, the, I'm giving Pope, you precedent. the Pope has directly accused you of terrorism. No, but, but so, please allow I mean, me to I do ask think, the question, I do think it's incumbent on, the, on you as a government to very, very, very quickly tell the world what happened here. Citing and previous we, incidents in previous wars and conflicts is kind of meaningless, frankly. I mean... No, but, but, I'm, but, I, but like, judge us by our track record, because in the past we have come clean when there was an accident and we, uh, we mis misidentified a target and we killed innocent people, and that's what I'm starting to tell you. We have come and admitted that we've made a mistake. But you must it know if you had done, snipers in that it. area by that church who shot people. You must know that. But if there was a firefight and there was shooting from both sides... We have to look into well, this you're suggesting now. I'm, there not, were I'm agreeing with you. There were Hamas terrorists. Just to be clear, your position is there were Hamas terrorists inside a Catholic church with a no, bunch in of the location. nuns and I women. I didn't say that. I said in the location, in location of the right. church. When do you think... And they were know, firing when, at our when, people. Okay, and our it, forces returned fire. But if it turns out, as the Pope has, has alleged, uh, and in fact stated as fact, it was an act of terrorism, what will Israel do about that? But can, can I say the following, which I don't accept in, in the accusations? I can accept the possibility that they were uh, uh, killed unintentionally, uh, caught up in the crossfire. I do not accept that they were deliberately targeted by the IDF. We do not target civilians. We do not target churches. Right. And, but and terrorism, the, the, the problem definition is, of terrorism... I know, but the, the problem is... You, terrorism again, with respect, ..is Mr. the Reagan. deliberate targeting of the innocent. Yes, I know, but unfortunately, on unfortunately, in the last 48 hours... You have shot and killed three Israeli hostages, and it is believed IDF forces have also shot and killed two completely innocent women outside a Catholic church. So th this constant refrain that you're not targeting innocent civilians is not borne out by the reality of IDF forces targeting and killing innocent civilians. No, but, but no, I disagree. And if you'll allow me to finish the sentence, please, Pierce. There's a huge difference between a policy that deliberately targets civilians, that's what Hamas does, yes, and between civilians inadvertently getting caught up in the crossfire between combatants 
between the Israeli forces... Well, you called it crossfire, but the, it, it, the allegation is that all five of these victims were deliberately shot dead. The two women by but snipers it, it, and the three they, hostages it, what, by In IDF the first forces. place, no, let's be clear, if there is a trial, right, let, let's say the accusation against the soldiers who killed the three uh, mm. hostages, it wouldn't be a murder trial, it would be a trial if there was a trial, and I don't know there will be, yes, but, but they would be accused of negligence or of not, uh, misidentifying a target, yes. Murder and terrorism is the deliberate targeting of the incident. I understand. And it's not clear that in either of these cases that applies. Right, but it may well be that that's what, what happened. You can't rule that out either. Well, that's why you've got to do an investigation. Right. But, you know, it shouldn't take very long to ask whether you had snipers in that area who shot women outside a church. But I'm, I'm, I know for a fact we had combatants in the area, but the, the fact is, did they, in fact, fire the bullets that killed the two women? It, once again, let's wait for the investigation. And as I said, in the past, when we've made mistakes, we have admitted it. There's a track record there. I, I want to, I want to, to end, remember. I wanted to show you a picture. This is of uh, uh, IDF bombs. And they've inscribed on them the names of actually a number of people who've been guests on this show. Mohammed Hijab, Andrew Tate, and also one of my next guests, Cenk Uyghur. Um, what is your response to that? Maybe IDF soldiers are watching your show. Is that possible? Yeah, but do you think it's uh, a, a sensible thing to be doing, to be putting names like this on these bombs? Well, first of all, it's obviously the, this is uh, some soldiers trying to be funny or creative, but it, there's a history here going back to the First World War, isn't there? Not of soldiers drawing pictures on, on, on shells and so forth. It's, it's something that soldiers have done. I'm not justifying it, but I think British soldiers have done it. Sounds like American you are justifying it to me. It. Sorry, no, I'm just putting it into historical context. Okay. Uh, Mark Regev, I appreciate you joining me. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, sir.